Howdy do, motherfuckers. Papa Stanim is here from Game Rebel with another episode of The Feed. Twitch announces a new tool for streamers that's going to help them avoid copyright problems. Apparently, is this the solution that we've been waiting for? I don't know. But before we get into that, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, me, Papa Stanimus. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, little bell icon. Hit that thing so you can get the notifications and drop a comment down below on this subject. And really quick, I'd like to let you guys know about a giveaway that I'm doing. Link is down below. And you guys can get involved in that giveaway, okay? Details are in the, the description down below. Twitch recently tweeted out talking about Twitch Soundtrack, the solution for streamers apparently to avoid DMCA issues. And I have a lot to say about this, especially being someone who works in this world. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I actually think that it's really cool that Twitch is making some moves in this, that it's a problem that they've needed to solve for a very long time. And now that they're actually taking some form of, of action on this, I'm actually really happy about that. This thing is advertised as a highly curated music library of independent music, and it's supposed to be worry-free so you don't get in any kind of trouble. However, there's some interesting details when it comes to how they license this music that is important for everyone to be aware of. However, I just don't think that they're going to be that big of an issue, even though there is some, because Twitch is always that way. They always have some sort of like solution, but it's not 100% legit, but everyone gets away with it anyways. Let's get into that. So Soundtrack by Twitch is working with a lot of different labels and music groups to bring a ton of music to Twitch that streamers can play on a separate audio track, which is really cool. We're going to talk about that later. When people watch the VODs later, the music isn't playing because it was on a separate audio track if you set it up correctly. And this is actually really cool. Uh, the only issue is that it's not a full license, okay? There's a, it's kind of complicated, but there's three ways that you would have to fully license a song in order to have the rights that fully protects you. And Twitch only has one of those. But at the end of the day, I don't think that really matters because I don't think these artists are coming after any streamers and it's only going to be while it's live. So once that live moment has passed, that song's not playing anymore, there is no getting them. You know what I'm saying? So it's so hard to get and make it make a stink about the music being used that the lack of full licensing of the songs, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Twitch is working with Repost, Monster Cat, Distro Cat, Kid, Insomniac, CD Baby, Empire, Westwood Recordings, Alpha Pop, United Masters. The, the list goes on. That's not even half of them. And... This is actually really cool. I, I'm excited to see what kind of music is going to be available, actually, because uh, when you're doing it this way, it's hard to when you have to curate all the tracks, it's hard to get a lot of good music. So I'm wondering how much that is actually going to be available, because when it comes to any music and I work in this world, most of it ends up not being very good. So you need to have people going through it and organize it. So this is going to be something that you essentially download on your computer and you can run directly into OBS Studio. So I think that for <laughs> it could be an issue for a lot of people with dual PC streams, but I was thinking it'd be really cool to do this just directly on the site, you know, but I don't know. It's going to be compatible with Twitch Studio, Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio and other things. And uh, right now, we you kind of have to just join a wait list to see if you can get access to the beta. I signed up and I will we'll definitely be trying it out and letting you guys know what I think about its actual existence once it's available when I have access. So there's other services out there that provide music for your Twitch stream. There's like Pretzel Rocks and there's Stream Beats and there's copyright stuff like playlists on Spotify and... Some of them have good reputation, so, reputation. some of them are kind of like questionable. And at the end of the day, uh, and, and you know, before we get into that, actually, there's my radio uh, solution that I have for streamers at gamerable.net forward slash radio that I provide to people on my stream team. Now, uh, is this going to, is this a threat to other services that are trying to solve this problem? I don't necessarily think so. And the reason why is because something like this brings market share, okay? For example, uh, an analogy I like to tell with situations like this is Netflix and Amazon Video, okay? 
uh, back in like, I would say 2011, Netflix was the dominant, you know, and still is pretty dominant, but they were just by far the most dominant only place to really stream movies. And then Amazon launches their service, Amazon Prime Video. And uh, that got a lot of people to sign up for Amazon Prime. It got them a lot of customers. It's a great idea. A lot of people were like, no, Netflix is better, you know, and they got kind of like tribal with which side they wanted to pick and thinking that with Amazon coming out, Netflix might take a hit and they won't have as many good movies. People were worried about that, but that's not what happened and that's not what they expected to happen. What really happens when someone else enters a space like this, do they swallow that space up? No, what they do is they add more space to it. So by Amazon coming in and creating Amazon Prime Video, more people in the world were signing up to stream movies online than ever before. So what happened? Netflix actually got bigger because of it. So it's actually important for there to be other places to go. It makes the whole market bigger and everyone wins essentially. And I feel that's what's happening with this, with Twitch bringing attention to this issue and bringing attention to solutions to this issue. Uh, I think it's going to make the, the whole realm of music solutions for live streaming bigger. All the people trying to make it happen because there's more eyes on it. And people, for the most part on Twitch, just ignore the copyright issues. And I think that as Twitch gets bigger and the government starts to come down on Twitch and say, hey, we need you to have some tools and stuff like that. We'll start, we'll probably get like real time music AI detection stuff that is going to sh shut things down or whatever when people are using music they're not supposed to. And with the enforcement of those rules that are there, they will, they are coming. I promise you they are coming. It's going to be tools that come in and streamers are going to have to change. They will have to adapt. And a lot of them are just going to use this because it's easy. And a lot of them are going to use things like stream beats, pretzel rocks, and hopefully Game Rebel Radio, if we can get that off the ground a lot bigger. You know, we're, we're, it's kind of private to our team right now. But as we, you know, work on some things, we can eventually hopefully open it up to everybody. Let's talk about exposure and credit and not being paid. Now, I've seen the argument that there are, there are people that are against what Twitch is doing because they're not paying these musicians to use their music. Now... Is that an issue or is it not an issue? It really does depend. But I do have a stance on this particular subject and I've always had this stance. Just because someone releases a song for free doesn't mean that they're giving away the whole store. You understand? So some people will say it's not fair to the artist. They're not getting paid, right? But for a lot of artists, especially in, the, in it's worse than streaming, okay? Being a, a musician, an independent musician in this day and age, is just noisier than ever, okay? There, it is so hard, it's so much harder to get noticed as a musician than it is a, a streamer. And in fact, there is just by far way more people trying to be musicians professionally than there are people trying to be streamers, by far, okay? Millions and millions. Now, uh, I've worked with a lot of musicians and uh, I believe that releasing music for free is a great tool, especially if you're trying to start up and get noticed to get noticed, okay? So, um, you know, get the content for, or give something for, give work for exposure. People, that that upsets some people. But, I and I do agree to a, a lot of times, like, yeah, dude, like, that's bullshit. You should just pay, right? But sometimes, sometimes you can say, hey, I will give you these three songs and you can use them for free in your program right here. I'm gonna, I've, I've set these ones aside for you, okay? And that exposure from those three songs can bring people in that are going to consume your premium songs that aren't necessarily free, okay? So what it does is you can use some, you can make as many songs as you want. A musician can just make hundreds of songs, okay? So give, taking some of them and using them as advertisements to make sales makes a lot of sense to me from a business perspective. Again, it's very situational. It's not so black and white, but a, a lot of times when a musician says, yes, use my music for free, they're more than happy for, for they just want people to hear the damn music, okay? Musicians can sign up for Twitch soundtrack right now. And if you're a musician, you totally should get some music on there that you wanna use as a tool to bring attention to you because that's everything. As a musician, you can make the greatest song in the world and no one will listen to it if you're don't if you not good at getting in, anyone to listen to it. So that's, that's my stance on this particular issue. I don't think Twitch is doing anything wrong 
by working with these willing musicians who want to give music uh, to the platform for free so they can get people to hear them. One thing that looks really cool and promising about this is that they're going to be organizing the music based off of a curated list. They're basically following suit of Spotify where they just have different types of playlists for moods and stuff like that. And it's going to be great for streams. Anyways, I think that this is really good news. I'm really happy. I'm excited to try it out, especially separating my audio from the video when it comes to this music, a separate audio track, really cool way to get your footage moved over to YouTube and not have to worry about any copyright stuff. So what I will be using with this tool is mostly that is just separating the audio. So then I could just port every single cast over to YouTube as is, and I can just save those over there as past live streams. That's what I'm gonna do over there uh, with this tool mostly. And um, yeah, and I think a lot of people are gonna avoid copyright issues because of it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Pop Stanimus. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, enable notifications, drop a comment down below. And if you want some bonus points, find me on Twitch. I'm probably live right now at TTV Pop Stanimus. See you there, goddammit.